Hello folks welcome to Nasaro CNC. Today we are going to talk about how to use ESL, which is one of the many software that control a Rex Shaper Plus machine. First we will open ESL in your browser. You can find through an Inventables website. You just type inventables.com. Go to ESL. Click login to ESL. If you are new to ESL, go to the create new account tab. Enter your email ID then full name and then enter a password and click start tab. But if you are existing customer, go to returning users tab. Enter the email ID along with the password and click continue. Once you have clicked on continue tab, you will see all of your past project in this window. If you want to open a new project just click the new project tab. When the software is open, the first thing you always want to do is find out the material you want to use. Measure your material and find out how white it is and enter that number right here. We are going to use 150 mm into 150 mm MDF board. So we enter 150 mm X and 150 mm Y and thickness our stock is 19 mm. If your stock have rectangle shape, so enter the value according to your stock. This direction is Y axis and this is the X axis. Now we can start designing our file. In this demo we will be using SVG file, but if you cut out any text into a piece of wood, just type that word. But we are going to use SVG file, so we select that. Go to the import tab and select your SVG file that you have created, and center your design onto the material. This windows is going to tell you how deep it's gonna cut your material. Right now it's going to cut all the way through the piece of wood, but we are going to cut 3 millimeters deep, so we enter value is 3 here and another important section there is cut path. You can select the path type in this section. You can select cut inside shape path. Cut outside shape path. Cut on the shape path and clear out a pocket. We are going to cut pocket, so we select clear out a pocket. Now we are going to select our cutting tool. So we click on bit selection tab. And then click on other tab. And enter the value 6 millimeters into the width box. We are working in millimeters, so we select millimeters. Now go to the cut setting tab. You can select your tool path speed and feed here according to your material. You can select how fast the machine is moving into the material. We are select 7000 mm per minute. Plunge rate 1000 mm per minute. And we clear out the pocket in one time. So we enter the value 3 mm in depth per pass. Once we finish creating our design and set the tool path, we can go to the machine menu. Then we can select other GRBL on machine drop down menu. And model drop down menu we can select other. In work area section enter the value according to your machine. If you are using the 32 into 32 machine, you enter 800 mm X and 812 mm Y. If you are using the 32 into 48 machine, you enter 1292 mm X and 812 mm Y. And if you are using the 48 into 48 machine, you enter 1292 mm X and 1294 mm Y. Once we have set our work area we can see that the change to that exact size. Now go to the advanced. These settings should work for most general users only. If you are an advanced user, in spindle control drop down menu you select automatic because X panel controller have ability to control spindle power on off and then click generate G code and that will create our G code and then we can click export to save our file. Once we have our file downloaded, we take that file and we will transfer it over to USB stick. Once the file is transferred you're ready to start cutting. Now go to the X panel controller and plug USB stick in your X panel USB connector. And then zeroing the part front left corner and start the machine. That concludes how to set up and use ESL for X Shaper Plus video. 
If you have any questions and concerns, you can reach out to us via email at nasarocnc at gmail.com, and to see our other accessories visit our website nasarocnc.com. See you next time good luck!